Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Redis on Casa OS. Th this makes it to where you can easily store key, key value uh, data inside of Casa OS, and you can use it like from Mastodon, stuff like that. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home, uh, home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So now we will go into Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description to get to this. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to how to install Redis on Cost OS right here. And this holds the Docker Compose. So I'm going to go into Docker Compose Redis. And then I'm going to specify a Docker Compose version of 3. Then I'm going to create services down below. And then the first service is Redis, of course. And then I'm going to set the image name to uh, get it off Docker Hub. And how you know it's coming from Docker Hub, if, if there's no URL in the beginning of this, that means it's coming from defaulting to Docker Hub. And then the latest tag. So, I'm going to uh, set the container name at Big Bear Redis. You can change this if you'd like. And, and then now I'm going to map some ports. So on the host side, it's going to be 6379. And in the container side, it's 6379. So if this does collide with another port that you have on there, you can always change the host port. So you cannot change the containers port. So now I'm going to map a volume. So I'm going to do data, app data, Redis, and then data on the host side. And you can ch change this if you'd like. And then in the container side is just data. So these sync back and forth and this is to where it's on the host side and then the container side so that's the explanation for docker compose so now we will go ahead and copy it copy the raw file then we'll go over to our cost os and we'll go into the app store and then custom install and then import and then I'm going to import Docker Compose file in there. And then submit. Okay. And then I'm going to name this Redis. I'm going to get an icon. I'm going to go over here to how to install Redis on Cost OS. I'm going to go backwards. Then I'm going to go to the icon right here. And I'm going to go back over to Cost OS. I'm going to paste it in the icon URL. Then this uh this redis installation does not have a web ui so you don't need to put the port in so it looks that good so i'm going to say install now you can continue in background okay it's up and running so we can see that uh it's running so you can go in here and you can see tips you can put your tips in like your password and then you just set, uh, save it. And then you can go ahead and go to the settings. And you can customize the settings right here. And then once you do that, you, you press the save button. You can go up here. You can see the terminal logs. You can see that you can export your Docker Compose right here. And then I'm going to exit. Then you can check for updates for the current tag it's on. And then you can uninstall, restart power off and on. So next we're going to get to testing the Redis installation. So now we're going to um, start up a Docker container temporarily and then once it stops running we're going to just shut it down. Um, so it's going to run the Docker container of Redis and then latest tag and then it's going to run the CL a Redis CLI. It's going to connect to Redis with the COS OS IP address the port and the password. So I'm gonna copy this. Then I'm gonna go over to my uh, terminal and I'm going to paste it in. I'm gonna change the Casa OS IP address right here to my actual IP address for Casa OS. And then I'm gonna run it. So that should be good. Now I'm gonna run it. It's going to download the image off of Docker Hub. 
And then there we go. Now we're inside of Redis. So I'm going to say ping. And then pong. And then if you don't get pong and you get an error, that means that Redis is not set up correctly and it's not working. So that's how to get Redis set up on COS OS. Installed, working, and, um, and I showed you how to test it too. So I just went over getting Redis installed, set up, working, tested, and at the end of the tutorial, you should have Redis up and running on Casa OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link down in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.